Hi everyone, I'm Grace. Welcome to day two of our 28 day challenge. Today's focus workout is going to be on increasing the mobility in your spine in all its ranges. Please take things at your own pace, listen to your body, slow down where you need to. Let's begin with some roll downs. Setting the feet up in parallel with a slight bend in the knees and favoring the weight into the balls of your feet. Take a deep wide breath in, fill your lungs and with the exhale nod the chin to the chest and begin to roll the spine forward. Curling down just as far as feels comfortable for your spine, your body today. Bend the knees as much as you need to to relieve any tension through the backs of your thighs. Breathe in at the bottom of your stretch, wherever you are, and with the exhale, begin to rebuild the spine, bone by bone, until you come all the way upright and your neck lengthens. Inhale at the top, same again, exhale, dropping the chin forward, rolling the spine, and feeling how this movement is in your body today, taking it to where it feels comfortable. Breathe in at the depth of wherever you get to, exhale to rebuild the spine, all the way back to standing. I'm going to turn to face you. You're going to drop your right ear down to your right shoulder. Turn and look over your right shoulder and begin to roll down your right leg. Again, just taking it as far as you feel comfortable, reaching the fingers towards the outside edge of your right leg. Breathe in at the bottom. Exhale, reversing that action. Rebuilding the spine, peeling the left shoulder open, dropping the right ear and recovering upright. Same thing left side, drop the ear, turn the head and roll down your left leg this time. Finding that comfortable place where there's no strain in your hands in the backs of the thighs. Breathe in, exhale as you roll yourself all the way up again and finding neutral. Stepping to the top of your mat, again with the feet in parallel, we'll begin with three sun salutations. As you breathe in, stretch both arms up high. Bring the palms of the hands together, and with a flat back, we bow forward. Same rules apply when you have your flat back. Bend the knees as much as you need you to feel comfortable. Find either the floor or your shin bones for support, and as you inhale, lengthen your spine parallel to the floor, reaching the crown of the head forward to the tailbone backwards. Plant both hands down, bend the knees as much as you need to to get there. We'll step one foot, then the other foot back into high plank, dropping down to your knees and untucking your toes. Hug the elbows into your waist as we take the body forward and down. Squeeze those upper arm bones, resting your torso onto the mat, and then the feeling of dragging your chest forward, lifting up through your gaze, lifting through your heart. Lower the chest back down again. Draw those abdominals in deeply, and as you exhale, press up onto all fours. Tuck your toes and raise your hips up, Lifting into downward dog. Let's keep the knees bent on this first one. Try and improve the length in your spine, reaching the crown of your head forward, the tailbone up and back. From there, look forward. Step one foot between your hands, followed by the other. Find that long halfway lift again, either fingers to the floor, hands to shin, wherever you can get a flat back. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Folding down over your legs. And then with a flat spine, you stretch your arms all the way back up to the ceiling and bring your hands to heart center. Same again, reach to the sky. Bent knees to bow forward, flat back. Find the floor or your shins. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. Stepping one foot followed by the other into your plank. We take the knees, untuck the toes, inhale, exhale, hug the elbows to your waist as you lower your chest to the mat. Inhale, drag your chest through the arms, keeping your belly button drawing up to the spine. Maybe you come a little higher this time. Exhale as you lower, breathe in. Exhale, press back up to all fours in one piece. Tuck the toes and downward facing dog. Maybe feeling a little bit more length through the backs of the legs here. Again, prioritize the length in your spine. Deep, wide breathing. Look forward, step one foot forward, followed by the other. Draw the breath in for your halfway lift. Reach the head forward, the tail back. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, reach the arms up. 
and exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do one more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, diving forward with your flat back. Inhale, hands to shins or floor. Find your long spine. Exhale, fold. Hands to the mat. Find your high plank. Drop to your knees. Untuck the toes and exhale, lower the body down. Inhale, drag your chest forward into a long cobra. Again, maybe you feel you can go a little higher this time. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press up onto on all, all fours. One piece, tuck the toes, lift a downward dog. Again, maybe feeling an increase in the length in your spine, the length of the legs. Focus on that deep, wide breathing. Wrapping the shoulders down and the back, biceps forward. From here, we're going to spring forward into a high plank position, stacking your shoulders over your elbows, over your wrists. Make sure the elbows are slightly soft. If this feels too much, drop to your knees. And then we lift straight back up into downward dog, either from plank or on all fours. And we come forward, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, lift up and back. And one more. Exhale, shoot forward. And lift up and back. I lied, we're going one more. This time we all come down onto our knees, stacking the hips over the knees, the shoulders over the elbows, over wrists, soft elbows, long neutral spine. And without any of that changing, send the right arm forward, the opposite left leg back, lifting out of that left arm so there's no sinking in that left shoulder and step the hand and the knee back to the mat. Other side, reaching long, keeping that stable spine in the middle. We're engaging through those core stabilizers. Bring it back in. Once more to each side, reach away. And bring it in. And reach away. And bring it back in. From there, cross the ankles over, and then just come to lie down onto your back, joining me however you can, resting down, continuing with this focused core work, breathe in, exhale, feel the flattening of the belly button to the spine, inhale as you prepare, exhale, pick one leg up to tabletop position, inhale, if that feels stable enough, you can lift the other leg up. If this is too much weight for both your legs lifting, you can always rest one leg down. Breathe in. As you exhale, if your neck is healthy, curl the head and chest up. Bring both hands to your knees. Press down onto your knees, curl up a little higher. Single leg version looks like this. Breathe in to prepare. Exhale, extend the right leg forward as the right hand comes to your left knee. Breathe in. We're going to change over. Exhale. One and two, and three, and four. If this feels comfortable, keep going. If it feels too much on your neck, rest the head down. Keep the legs pumping. If it feels too much on your back, it's gonna look like this. Change, change. Let's do four, and three. Loads of options, whatever feels good. And one, and one. Bring both knees in. Press down onto those knees, curl up a little higher. From here, we send both arms, both legs directly to the ceiling. Nothing changes in my spine. Exhale, hug the knees, the arms back in. If that felt fully, pretty manageable, send the arms and legs a little bit lower, or further away from each other. Exhale, circle, come in. Again, if that felt good, we can go further. Inhale, reaching, stretching. This is double leg stretch. Exhale, circle. Wherever you feel feels right, let's get going for five more. Remember, you can always put your head down. Inhale, three. And reach. And circle. Last two. Around. And one. Around. Hug the knees. Rest the head and turn the head from side to side. Great work. Let's get going with our spinal mobility. Hopefully you feel warm, I know I do. Feet flat onto the mat, knees and ankles hip distance apart, arms resting softly by your sides. Draw the breath in. Exhale, feel the abdominals contract so much that it causes your spine to imprint to the mat. Slowly progress that imprint to peel the hips up bone by bone into a bridge. Press down hard through the arms. Think of your heels dragging towards your bottom. 
Inhale and exhale, roll the vertebra, the spine back into the mat, visualizing like a bicycle chain, link by link, melting down evenly until you find neutral. Let's take one more, inhale. Exhale, curl the tailbone, feel that lovely articulation, lengthening through the spine, lifting the hips up. From here, we're gonna progress this into a bridge. Feel like you wiggle your shoulders underneath you, like your shoulder blades come a little closer. If you can, link the fingers underneath you. If that doesn't reach yet, no worries, just keep the hands flat. And we're gonna think of lifting right from the center of your chest, your sternum. Think of lifting your heart up, and then the rest of the, the spine will follow, lifting, press down through the arms, lift up and forward with your chest, mobilizing the spine into an extension. From there, release the palms flat onto the mat if they're linked. Breathe in and exhale, feeling again that even articulation of the spine, like that bicycle chain, coming all the way back to find neutral. From there, squeeze the legs together, reach the arms out to a T shape, and we'll take a little spinal rotation, dropping the knees to one side, turn and look away from the legs, keeping both shoulders glued to the mat. Inhale, exhale, draw the abs in, the legs, the pelvis follow to the center, same thing other side, twisting, let the knees drop over, feeling that opposite shoulder, maybe even the opposite rib cage, feeling like it's dropping down into the mat. Inhale, exhale to come center. Picking one leg at a time, carefully up, keeping that spine still. And then we'll hug the thighs towards you, taking the backs of the legs, tuck the tailbone off the mat, draw the forehead towards your knees. In this little ball shape, we start a little rock and roll. Listen to your body. If this is not comfortable for your spine, just meet us in a seated position. One more, inhale. Exhale, hold at the top, cross your ankles over, and coming back onto all fours. Hands under the shoulders, softening in the elbows, knees under the hips. Starting like we did in the bridge, right from the very base of your spine. Take a deep, wide breath in. Exhale, curl the tailbone between your legs, and feel that curvature ripple all the way up through your spine into your neck, and press those hands firmly into the mat. Really, really curving evenly right from the base of the spine through to the crown of the head. On the inhale, we reverse that. Tip the tailbone up to the ceiling. Keep the abdominals engaged as, as you allow your spine to come into extension. Press the hands down and drag your chest forward like you're reaching your heart forward. Same again. Exhale, move from that pelvis. Tuck the tail. Feel how the abdominals really have command of the spine. Curving into the upper back and press your hands firmly down. Your head just hangs through your biceps. Inhale, tip the tailbone up. Drag the chest through the arms. Move that spine. Getting the full range. Find neutral. Halfway between those two extremes from there. Tuck your toes under. Hover the knees an inch off the mat. If that already feels like a lot of work, keep those knees down. Do exactly the same as before. If not, we repeat with the knees hovering. Tuck the tailbone. Scoop the abs in. Press down through the arms. Don't let those knees lift. Drop the head. Inhale, move the pelvis from curve into extension. Drag that chest through the arms, but keep those abs working to support the spine. And again, exhale, scoop. Lift through the abdominals, press down through the hands, puff up those ribs, let the head hang. Inhale, move from that pelvis. Have a little check that your knees aren't moving, mine are quivering up and down for sure. Lifting, go forward and find neutral. Stepping the knees back to the mat, move your left foot forward between your hands. From here, find length in the spine and you're gonna bring your hands up onto your thigh and your body upright. From here, take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and then place the left hand to the right and use that pressure of the right arm to the left thigh to encourage a nice twist in the spine, opening the heart to the ceiling. Come back to the center and bring the hands to your left thigh. Brace through those abdominals and without lifting the pelvis too much, extend that back leg. Lunge. 
turn the right heel in so your right outer foot becomes parallel with the end of your mat. Bring your left elbow down onto your left thigh, stacking that left knee directly over the ankle and sweep the right arm up and over. Stretch through those right fingers, ground through the right foot, pressing the hips forward and turning the spine open. From there, plant that right hand back down onto the mat. Turn so you're on the ball of the right foot and drop down onto that back right knee. From there, we sweep that front left leg behind us. We turn and we face the long side of the mat into the biggest side stretch, lifting your pelvis up to the sky, creating a rainbow shape through your body. Breathing into that top lung, stretch it all out. And then from there, we tuck that left knee in, sitting down on both shins and reach the left fingers way forward to the very, very top of the mat and try and sit your bottom off to the left heel. Stretch out that left side of your spine. Good work. Wiggling back around, finding all fours. We repeat all of that right foot steps forward. Stack the knee over the shin. Carefully bring your body up, tuck the back toes. Bring your left elbow to the outside of that right thigh. Right hand touches left, press the palms together firmly, bring the heart to the hand. So we're twisting up, rotating in the spine, wringing it out. Come back to the center, place your hands onto your thigh, brace the abdominals and with minimal lifting in the spine, straighten that back knee. Pivot on your back foot, bringing the outside edge of the foot to the uh, parallel to the back of the mat. Right elbow to right thigh, stacking that knee over the ankle and sweep that left arm over. Stretch it out, lifting the left rib cage up to the ceiling. Breathing deeply. And then we bring the left hand back down to the mat. We pivot off that back foot and drop the knee to the mat. Extending that front right leg out behind us, turn and face the long side of the mat, press the hips forward, and stretch, creating that rainbow shape, modified side plank, pressing the hips forward. And then we tuck that right leg in, coming onto your shins, stretch the right fingers if you could reach them off the top of your mat, sitting your bottom to the outside of your right heel. Stretch it out. So good. Then come back to the middle. Keep those fingers reaching away from you. Stacking your hips directly over your knees and then reach the fingertips forward so we make these little tents with our hands, keeping the palms, the wrists, the forearms off the mat if you can, you can always lower them down if you need and bow your chest, maybe your forehead towards the mat, don't worry if it doesn't touch, find somewhere comfy, if this feels too much for your shoulders, a rest position child's pose is great too, Just keep breathing. Finding the length and flexibility in your spine. Spiraling your biceps, your inner upper arm bones up to the ceiling. From here, flatten the hands down onto the mat. Sink yourself back onto your heels into rest pose. And roll your spine all the way up. Restacking to neutral. Good, I hope your spine feels nicely stretched out and you're ready for the day. I'll see you next time.